It's a storm like I never seen before. If we don't do something quick, who are gonna sink? The poor job. Somebody up there must be really upset with somebody down here. I admit it, it's my fault. We pour 20,000 leaves under the sea. I'm afraid the only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. Uh, you don't have to do that. We got a blank. You can just walk off. Yes, thank you. We pour Ray Willie. The biggest fish story of all time. Big ID's Jonah, a Vet G Tales movie. Only in theaters 2002. Holy mackerel! The pirates who don't do anything! Nothing. Zilch. Nada. And not so fast, you lazies! Today, we're doing a little something! Not again. We did something yesterday. Huh? All you did was order Chinese! Hey, it's hard to say, Mugu Gai Pan. Oh, I did it again. I'm beat. Here, have one time. Ooh. Over the past few months, we've asked our loving and loyal fans to cast their votes for their favorite silly song. Well, the votes are in, and now it's time to tally them all up in The Astonishing Contraption of Silliness! What a lame name. Who came up with that? What? I liked it. One time? Ooh! <coughs> Let the silliness begin! Well, classics like... Everybody's got a water bottle. Or who could forget? Oh, where is my hairbrush? And it is! Watch the cucumber. Hey! Hey! bolts. Enough lollygagging, you slackers! It's time to shake a leg! Buccaneer Larry, man the vote sex! Aye, aye, Captain. Pirate Lunt, hoist the booster! Okay. Well, let's go over the rules, shall we? We'll put your votes into the astonishing contraption of silliness. The astonishing contraption of silliness will count your votes, and then the astonishing contraption of silliness will count down to the silliest silly song of all time! That's it! The polls are closed. Oh, great! Well, the moment has arrived! Buccaneer Lunt, the lever! We join Larry as he follows the tragic saga of Barbara Manatee in the daytime drama, Endangered Love. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. You are the one I love Please don't cry Barbara You're a nice manatee You've been so good to me But I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all And you can't come because you don't speak French Au revoir But if you leave me Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Sent from up above, you are the one I love. Be your Mona Me. Mona Me. Mona Me. I'll take 
should read a book. Yeah. Okay. This has been Silly Songs with Lamb. Tune in next time to hear Bill say, Barbara, I've learned to dance. Oh, Bill. Number nine. The Dance of the Cucumber. Larry will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. See how he moves. Like a lion chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. Es oh, how smooth his motion. Like butter and on, on a pelon. bald monkey. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Los All the vegetables. Envy their friend. Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance? Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo! Mom! Dad! Look over here! Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentina garb! Okay, Junior. But we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas. Peas. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su Hear voz fuerte. his strong voice. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. El dulce a su canto. How sweet his voice. Es otro su garganta. The breath from his throat is like a chorus of little birdies. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los All the vegetables Envy their friend Wishing to sing as he Pepino Singing cantador. cucumber Pepino Singing cantador. cucumber Pepino Singing cantador. cucumber Can Sing, sing, ya. yeah Escuchen al tomate Listen to the tomato no es Isn't it sad? No, no puede cantar. He can't sing Pobre tomate Poor tomato poder cantar. He wishes he could sing Fuerte y luce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber Pero no puede. But he can't Ni siquiera da un sorbido. Can't even whistle Alright, that's it, senor Come over here and let me sing you a song Adios, amigos this has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. Number eight. Laddie's high silk hat.
one day While he was waiting for the trolley He had a hat My high silk hat He wore it high upon his head so proudly A beautiful hat My high silk hat A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly Now fancy this And fancy that The splendor of this hat in all its majesty Like a king in a royal cap I feel so swell and handsome in my hat I bet that others wish they had In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that A hat so fine, a high so hat Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly I must, in fact, share more than that For upon his lap there sat the treat so fondly Of chocolate this and chocolate that Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy A chocolate bliss A chocolate snack Conventions such as these are more than candy So what the fuck about so bad? I have my chocolate placed upon my lap I feel so good you just cannot top that I have my snack a chocolate pack of chocolate bliss and chocolate bag Oh golly Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Upon his hat And his hat was sad So beneath his hat he thought and pondered What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat Upon his hat He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire And to a pool A chocolate bag I won't feel grand if I take off my hat The sun's getting hot He decided to forgo his looks so dashing To save his hat And eat a snack So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him And put his hat on top of that Oh please, oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me, sit close to me. Upon my hat I ask if all of you can be so kindly And just stand back away from my snack What's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one and I still don't have a name. Now what do you think of that? The Black Star The Dance of the Golden Saboons. Hold it! Stop the countdown! Uh, I don't understand. Uh, there must be some mistake. I, I think perhaps the astonishing contraption of silliness may need some recalibrating. This ought to do it. The Water Buffalo Song. Oh, that's a nice one. The grandfather of silly songs. The one that started the whole thing. Let's pause for a moment of respect, shall we? That's enough. Hit it! The Water Buffalo Song. Everybody's got a water buffalo Yours is fast but mine is slow Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know But everybody's got a water buffalo Ooh. I took my buffalo to the store Got his head stuck in the door Spilled some lima beans on the floor Oh, everybody's got a... Stop! Stop right this instant! What do you think you're doing? You can't 
say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not have a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody's got a baby kangaroo. Yours is pink, but mine is blue. Ah! Number six. The Yodeling Veterinarian of the Alps. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint. Was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure wouldn't come from other vets. Whoa! Biff is a thong for your poor thick penguin. He's got a fever and a toes are blue. But if I think to your poor thick penguin, he will feel better in a day or two. He's gone a little loopy, in case you haven't heard. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Skeptic could explain just how nor could one off three but The wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! In your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When a nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said, no way, Jose! To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps! Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Named one after you. Oh yeah, that'll work. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. Whoa! Some would stand in silence while some just scratch their scalps. For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps! Number five! The song of the Sabuli. Ladies and 
gentlemen, boys and girls, Larry the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, The Song of the Sabu. This is a song about a boy. A song about a little boy and his sabus. A song about a little boy and his three sabus. The little boy who had a sick sabu, a sad sabu, and a mute sabu. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. Oh. This is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. See? Yes. Well, uh, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Say it with me. Say Boy is riding with Sabu. Boy is riding with Sabu. Into town in his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A chumumu, 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 a chumumu. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Can see boy in three Sabu. Can see boy in three Sabu. That Sabu is rowing and crying. Bahumumu, 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 bahumumu. Seen by Mutabu. It was seen by Mutabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mutabu is waving and grunting. <laughs> boy injured? Why is the sad Cebu sad? Is the canoe wood or aluminum? Oh look, there's me and Bob at SeaWorld. Oh wow. Ooh. Forgot about that one. There's me and that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look! A Cebu! No, wait! That's a water buffalo. No more song about Cebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is scanning and weaving. Bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, moo, moo. I want my money back. Yeah, that'd be good. The sign of the water buffalo, you don't want to do with your own lips. Wait a minute! Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it appears we're experiencing technical difficulties once again. Buy me some time. Huh? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Think of something. Come up with another one of those silly songs you're so famous for. But I didn't prepare anything. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here, use this. Mongolian, chicken. sweet and sour, chicken. cashew, chicken. Do the mushu, mushu, shu, mushu, 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 pork, do 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 do, Mandarin pork, barbecued pork, sweet and sour pork, spicy shredded pork, do the tofu, tofu, fu, 
to 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 foo foo fo fo to and go to to hoo ho stop break a fortune cookie snap beware of grape with wooden mallet ain't that the truth that ought to do it a nice try but i don't think it'll make the countdown number 4 this cheeseburger He said to her I'd like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said isn't this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely Till sunrise, he may have dozed off once or twice. When he spotted a billboard for Denny's, bacon and eggs for half price. How could he resist such an offer? He really needed something to munch. Cheeseburger, please do not get. While talking with Dr. Archibald, Larry confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it. Did you say your father? Fascinating. So what you're saying is, if your lips left you, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I might get mad. I'd call my dad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. I love my lips. Me leave that bop dee ba boo, eebie da ba boo ba da boo bow. Yabba da ba ba dee ba ba boo ba dee da ba ba boo dow. Yabba da ba da ba blue ba dee ba rum. Eebie da ba da ba blue ba dee ba dow. Eebie da ba da ba blue ba dee ba dow. Eebie da ba da ba blue ba dee ba dow. Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Larry, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Larry, tell.
Tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. And I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen and when he did start speaking he just spoke Polish and I only know like three words in Polish except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. whoop -da. I'm confused. I love my lips. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Look at the time! Bye, ba boo ba billy ba billy ba ba boo ba billy ba There are only two silly songs left, and we're still in it! One song will go home the loser, the other will go home as the silliest silly song ever! And the loser is... The Pirates Who Don't... Hold it! Stop the countdown! Maybe we didn't collect all the votes. What are you talking about? Sure we did. No, maybe we didn't. Did you remember to check the closet? There's nothing in the closet. <laughs> maybe there's more votes in the closet. Oh, look. Wait a minute. What's going on? We cannot allow our own negligence to violate the will of the people. Hey, I smell something fishy. Uh, that's your friend. Hung Pao Squid? Ah, uh, no. Number two. Hold it. Somebody has a confession to make, don't they? Don't they? Okay, okay, I rigged the election! That last bag of votes weren't official votes at all! They were all phony votes for our song! I'm appalled! I'm disgusted! You'll disgrace the proud title of pirate! Eh, uh, no, wait. Maybe not. I'm sorry. It's just that well, you've got your cheeseburger song! And you've got everything else! And, well, that song is all I had! Well, number two is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, that's really good. You think so? Oh, yeah. It, it sure beats the forgive o -matic. I heard that. Huh. I, I guess you're right. It is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, will you guys forgive me? Okay, oh, oh yeah, right. you we'll bet. forgive you. Astonishing contraption of silliness. Will you forgive me? Yes. Oh, good. All right, already. Okay, let's set the record straight. The poets who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lay around. And if you ask us who do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul, and I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the pool. Oh, we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. And I never hoist the mainstay and I never 
swab the poop deck And I never fear to starboard Cause I never sail at all And I've never walked the gangplank And I've never owned that barrett And I've never been to Boston in that fall Cause we're the pirates Who don't do anything Who ain't just stay home And lie around And if you ask us To do anything We'll just tell you We don't do anything Well I Never plucked a rooster and I'm not too good at ping pong And I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall And I've never kicked a chipmunk and I've never gotten head lice And I've never been to Boston in the fall Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right! We're supposed to sing about piratey things! Oh! And who's ever guessed that chipmunk? What? Just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the captain. That too. Oh yeah. Aye aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Bye. And I've never sniffed a stink bug And I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball And I've never bathed in yogurt And I don't look good in leggings You just don't get it And we've never been to Boston in the fall Pass the chips And now, the silliest silly song of all time our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 Is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there! Is my hairbrush? Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair! For my hairbrush! Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses. Larry, that old hairbrush of yours! Well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so... Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach. Cause he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments. Not fair, oh my hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for the hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. Well, that's it! 
The Great Silly Song Countdown is complete! Thanks for voting, everyone! You guys are great! Yeah, thanks! And about quit? Sabu is rowing, and sneezing, a chumu mu a a chumu mu a a chumu mu a Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me, sent from up above, you are the one I love, we are the the tomato and I'm Larry the cucumber and we have some really exciting news big idea has just created the super fantastic veggie fan club Yay! the ultimate fan club for the ultimate veggie tales fan if you're nuts about your veggies you won't want to miss out on all the fun in the super fantastic veggie fan club that's right Larry members will get all kinds of cool stuff including a veggie tales video of their choice an official membership certificate exclusive toys and our bi-monthly newsletter the veggie bee full of activities your whole family can enjoy. Be sure to see the insert that came with this video or come to BigIdea.com for more information. The Super Fantastic Veggie Fan Club is the fan club you've been waiting for. Don't miss out.
Look for all these great Veggie Tales videos wherever videos are sold. Or for more information, visit us at www.veggietales.com.